What up guys and welcome to another video. Today we're gonna to react to a Tim Dillon video. This one is called Tim Dillon making Ben Avery laugh. Let's jump right in, react to this one, let's go. What if we flew in Candace Owens to come to the Friendsgiving? I, I want to reach out to your manager and go, I will pay Candace Owens $10,000. <laughs> I will, and if you're, thank you, patrons. This is where your money's going. I will fly <laughs> Candace Owens and, and have Candace Owens and Nelk recreate <laughs> the George Floyd incident. No. <laughs> yes or yes? No. Yes. <laughs> And oh Barry God. Weiss will write an article and say that it's okay. I This is the Friendsgiving that I would like. Oh my God. I'm asking if this is possible. The great Ray Kump went on one vacation to New Orleans with his mother. She took him three years ago. She flew him first class. And he left her and he went to his strip club. <laughs> <laughs> That's how to live a life. That's how to live life. Car ups are five dollars an hour because they get tips. Oh, do you get a lot of tips? They got a good amount of tips, but it just yeah, they so, they, they got a good amount of tips. So it's under minimum wage. It's five dollars an hour, and then you get tips. Yes, sir. Is it a fun place to work? Like, can I take some food home for myself? Yeah, of course. Okay, so I could eat every day at Sonic if I wanted to. Yeah, he's got a yeah, pretty much. You could have. Any yes. drink, all drink, any drink you want. Any drink I want. Okay, so it's five dollars okay. an hour, but I can drink all the soda I want. Yeah. Okay, and eat any food. Can I make myself an ice cream every now and then? Yeah, of course. Yes, yeah, sir. It's not a bad deal. Five an hour tips. Do they really give you? So they'll give you tips, and I can eat all the uh, soda and burgers I want, and make myself an ice cream. I mean, you can make yourself an ice cream, and then maybe one. Uh, so uh, your need of cooks, and do I have to be good at cooking? <laughs> No, no, sir, not at all. Not you, really. Yeah. No, really. You, you, you yeah. now, what do you think they make in tips there? Twenty thousand? <laughs> Twenty five thousand at Sonic Tips? People at Shakeology oh have God. provided us with all the information we'll need. All you have to find is five other fat fucks that are desperate, that have postpartum depression. I love who this is being marketed to. They're like Jeannie's story was great. She was laying on the floor of her trailer <laughs> thinking about <laughs> who's this product for? People that have given up all hope. Jeannie was sitting in her car with the engine on in her garage. She was three gasps away from meeting Jesus. And then Jeannie went inside and she went and she saw that her good friend at work had lost three pounds. By drinking shakes all day. So his mother and father raped him constantly. They would they would they would sell him to other pedophiles in the community. When he was a young boy, he learned a deep sense of shame. After killing both of his parents and then being and then being sentenced to a juvenile hall for only three years because of the heinous nature of their crimes against him. He finally started running. Ironically, something he should have done years before. He ran and ran. He jumped over hurdle. He finally found his sister, his long lost sister, later in life, and she raped him. And that gave him the strength to pursue his dreams of running and jumping over hurdles. And now he is here to compete in the Tokyo COVID Games. <laughs> this is a very inspiring story. This young girl, for many, many years, was a Nazi. <laughs> Raised in a small, quiet suburban town in Georgia, she discovered the alt-right at a young age. She started live streaming started asking questions about Jewish people and the shapes of other people's skulls. For many years, she became a shit poster. She fought against misogyny in the alt-right online community for many years, establishing herself as one of the preeminent shit poster trolls in the neo-Nazi gaming community. Then, she left all that behind to swim at 
the Tokyo Games. <laughs> We're going to structurally reform the... What? They're watching puppet shows. How this country doesn't have a dictator already is amazing. I'm amazed that we don't have a dictator already. With what people, where, where people are mentally in this country. And they like puppet shows. You going to talk to them about climate change? Have the puppet do it. I mean, I mean, have a puppet moderate the debate. It, folks, I don't know what you think is going to happen. I mean, I'm not trying to say that we don't have a lot of bright people here, but the average American, like the average American, and this is why I could never run for anything, that in my past and present and future. <laughs> But the reason I could never run for anything is because I go, the average American is the problem. Like, this is what people want. They want the puppets. That's okay. why politics is a puppet show. They're all puppets. People are like, why are all our politicians puppets? It's like, because you like actual puppets. <laughs> you like actual puppets. So why wouldn't the politicians be puppets? I, I mean... Yeah, that's. Crazy. By the way, I mean Venice. It's like you go down there. The 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 best things there are the bodybuilders with AIDS. I'm not, wait, what? I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. He spoke some facts right there. I'm not gonna lie. He spoke some facts. I mean. By the way, that I mean Venice. It's like you go down there. The 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 best things there are the bodybuilders with AIDS. Muscle Beach. All the bodybuilders with AIDS who've like beaten AIDS. They all have AIDS and they've beaten AIDS. They're so built. They no longer have AIDS or penises. Like they don't have their penises have gone away because they've just pumped so much iron and they've all beaten AIDS. But I didn't see them today because the outdoor gym was being remodeled. Sadly. So we go into the Trump course. She goes into the bathroom to change her clothes like a true crackhead. <laughs> okay? Uh huh. She's like, where? Are, she asked some fake question about the restaurant. She's like, when is the restaurant open? And then she goes, where's the restroom? I'm like, they know what you're in here for. They know you just want to go in there, deliver a baby, and leave it in the toilet. <laughs> so just go do that, and I'll go take a shit, and then we'll leave. Okay? We don't have to pretend that we're here to talk to the event planner about throwing a wedding. Okay? They know you just want to abandon a baby in the bathroom. What is he talking so, about? So, I'm going <laughs> to... You'll love it. Because you're a big retard. <laughs> and oxygen, air, and water has been wasted on you. <laughs> but... Uh. That's no reason not to have a Ridge wallet. <laughs> None at all. Nah, this guy, bro, you guys don't understand. Okay, some people would, you know, some people don't know who Tim Dillon is. Um, if there's anybody that is subscribed to my channel and don't know who Tim Dillon is, okay, get to know. Because this guy is, like, the thing is, people, like, don't understand that he is using satire and over exaggerating situations to highlight how stupid some things are. <clears throat> so like through the jokes, like everything that he does, like, like he just, you know, he makes you laugh at out outrageous things. And it makes you go like, huh, that is true though. Like, honestly, like the, the part where we was talking about, like you guys are watching puppets. You guys love, the country loves watching puppets. Like, how can politicians not be puppets? You guys like watching puppets. Politicians are puppets too. Like, I, I understand that whole thing. Like, that segment right there. Uh, most of the parts were like, I was I, so out of context. I don't know what the fuck was going on. But just the fact that Ben was laughing at every single one. Like, Ben's fucking laughs are so contagious. 
like, bro, I, I miss Ben. I'm not gonna lie, I miss Ben at these podcasts, bro. He was so fun. Like him there was like a perfect like you could see, like he was you, like legit he was you. While you were listening, you were like, oh shit, Ben is laughing. That's basically me laughing right now as well. We laughing together at this guy's fucking jokes. So yeah, man, I miss I miss Ben, but there, there was some crazy stuff in the behind the scenes. They you know they didn't get get along well and shit like that, and you know he he stopped becoming uh uh, uh you know. Uh, a moderator or whatever you can call it for the podcast. I don't know what the fuck Ben was doing to be honest, but either way um, Yeah, uh, this is really fun. I, I really liked some of the parts man. The, some of the parts were uh, crazy crazy funny uh, But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction video if you did Hit that like button down below make sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new here and follow me on twitch link is in the description so you don't miss out on future streams and Make sure to follow me on social media if you want to. Links are in the description as well. With that being said, take care, God bless, and deuces.